The easiest way to install add-ons on iOS, even if you need to use a computer. It's a nice tip. Hey guys, it's Chad. If you're looking to install add-ons on iOS, it's actually fairly simple, but it can become more difficult if you need to download these add-ons to a computer to say, unarchive them. Uh, current tutorials that I found online ask you to like get another program that almost like hacks it into the phone And so I found a nice workaround. So here's how to install add-ons on iOS the easy way and a little bit of a workaround if the add-on becomes difficult and you need to use the computer so here we are on uh, Minecraft pocket edition uh, this is uh, gonna be run off my iPad so when you're here on an iOS device getting add-ons into the game is actually fairly straightforward as long as you don't run into any issues. So I'm going to uh, open up uh, MCPEDL, which is a very popular site for downloading add-ons. And we're going to choose this placeable food add-on. This is just kind of at the top uh, most recent add-on right here. And so in this case, it's very simple because you can see in the installation area, it has download resources and behaviors MC add-on. And as long as we just go ahead and open that, you don't have to actually uh, hold that down. You can just click it uh, and you see the download uh, button and ignore all the other ads. Well, there you go. The placeable food update dot MC add-on. You just click open in Minecraft. You're brought into the game and then bam, it says import started at the top. And in just a moment, it'll say, successfully imported and if we create a new world you can see inside of the resource packs you got placeable food and you have the behavior pack as well which is exactly what we wanted but sometimes it's not that simple uh, and so let's go and look for uh, I found this one right here the Interman robot add-on and this add-on I could not no matter what get this link right here to work that's being highlighted uh, and, and even that doesn't work Click here. That also didn't work. It just kept me going through ads over ads over ads, tons of ads, never actually got to the, to the add on. But you do see this get the zip right here. And this will download uh, the correct thing, except on an iPad. If you click that download, this is a dot zip file, which the iPad can't understand. So you do need an extra step in this case. Uh, if, if you can't just automatically open it up from uh, the link here on the site. That will require us to head on over to the computer like we're on right now. Now, one thing to note is that uh, it does say uh, installation guides right here, Android, iOS, and Windows 10. And if we open up this iOS uh, sort of tutorial, it says that if you have a z dot .zip and a dot .rar, it asks you to go through all these other steps. But I'm going to give you a tip that is different from this. So you don't have to install anything else other than probably what you already have. And so we're just going to use a messaging app to make this a lot simpler. So over here on the PC, if I choose to download the zip file, I'm able to do that quickly and easily. When I open up the zip, I can see that I have the resource pack and the behavior pack, which is exactly what I need. And instead of downloading other programs in order to get this onto my iPad, what I'm actually going to do is use a normal program that probably everybody has installed already, Discord. Now you can use really any messaging app to pull this off, uh, but Discord makes it fairly simple. So we're gonna show it off on Discord. Discord is also free and I really trust them. So uh, I like this. If, you, if you're unfamiliar with Discord, it's a, a place where you can chat with friends, you can join servers and other communities and stuff like that. Like here's the Minecraft commands community uh, and stuff like that. So uh, it's a really, really nice program. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to message ourselves these files from a PC so that you can easily get it on a iOS device. To do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new server that no one else is gonna be on. I'm just gonna call this something like I talk to myself. Now this can be named anything. It could just be named links or anything. You can set it to your region and hit create. Now when I create it, it's gonna ask me to invite my friends and I don't really need to invite anybody because only I need to really be in this server. Uh, and this is your server just for you. No one else is on here. So what I'm going to do is go on over to the zip file and we're going to export these to someplace onto my hard drive 
because them being inside the zip file and size seven zip isn't going to work. So here they are, and I'm just going to have to drag these on over to the Discord, and it will upload both of these. So now you can see that I've just easily uploaded these, and now on the iPad, I can go on with the next step. On my iPad and Discord, I can see that these have just been shared with me, and so I can easily get these now without you know using the alternative, which is to use some other program on my computer to kind of inject it into the iPad. If you click on one of these, it's gonna kind of open up a uh, preview of it in, uh, uh, in Safari. Now, sometimes if you're on an iPhone, it will open up its own sort of Discord preview. If it happens to open in a Discord browser, there's very quickly an icon in the bottom right-hand corner that is the Safari icon. You can open it and click that within half a second of it opening, and then it'll bring you to Safari where you can actually use it. If it opens it in the Discord browser, you won't be able to bring it into Minecraft. So you have to be kind of quick on your feet to, to click that and then click the Safari icon because that Safari icon will gray out really quickly if uh, if you don't do anything, if you don't click it fast enough. So over here on Safari, you can see that this is the exact same behavior as we saw before with the placeable foods where it has the open in Minecraft button. So over here with the uh, behavior pack, we'll just click open in Minecraft and it's going to import into Minecraft for us. So there you go, there's the robot Enderman. Uh, now that is the behavior pack, we need the resource pack still. And this is the resource pack, so we're gonna go and click that and it opens up. And now you can see in your resource packs, we have the robot Enderman. Also in the behavior packs, we have the robot Enderman. So it's a very, very easier, it's a much easier way in my opinion, to install add-ons onto an iOS device without using a program uh, like on your PC. You can just use a chat program. And this will also work with things like iMessage and, and any other, basically any other messaging thing that allows you to upload files and send it to yourself, basically. You could really even do the same thing if you wanted to email it to yourself. I find this tip very, very useful. It's a lot easier than say, uploading it to your own you know, like Mediafire account or some other program that you don't really want to trust. And this way, you're just messaging it to yourself, emailing it to yourself, uh, somehow getting that file to yourself that you already know you trust. You don't have to sign up for really anything, really, if you already have these messaging accounts. Hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash omgcraft, and also make sure that you leave a like on this video. I'll see you all next time on OMG Craft. Bye!